All right, this is part two of our little lesson on systems of equations, solving systems by graphing. And uh, we're just going to wrap up here. This one shouldn't take too long. I just want to show you a couple special cases. And let me just let me just start a new little doc here. Sorry, my computer denied me there. I heard a little noise and it said, nope. Um, so what's going to happen here, since we're just going to touch on special cases, is... Let me draw for you a couple coordinate planes. And if you're taking notes, because you're that kind of kid who takes notes, um, that makes me happy. Or if you're that kid that just wants to watch the video and soak it up, okay, that makes me happy. Now, we've got three options here. Okay, option A, option A, option B, and option C. Option A is we have a line and we have another line and those two lines meet. Let's just say that these lines intersect right here at zero, zero. We would have our answer would be the intersection of those two points. We just went over that on the last lesson. Our answer here would be zero, zero, and we'd be happy. Now, I touched a little at the end of last assignment on a situation where we would have two lines that are parallel and it looks like they're never gonna intersect. Okay, that option is the option called no solution. Okay, that's option B. Now option C is if you graph a line, right? Because you have your equation and you graph it. Okay, then you graph another line and it lies right on top. It's like, shoot, I just graphed this line on top of the other line, okay? It's basically the same line. And what that means is like those two points are intersecting at all these points. They're intersecting everywhere. They're going to be intersecting for, for eternity, okay? So you would have, I think on your homework, it's called in that sense, infinite number of solutions. So you could just say like infinite solutions okay these are the three options that we have for the next two to three weeks it's always going to be we have a point we have no solution or we have infinite solutions and i want you to visibly see like you can see with your eyes what those three answers represent right now let's shift oh i want to cancel because oh yeah actually i can Whatever. I'll keep that. Now let's cruise back over here and it says solve each system by graphing. And you're looking at these guys and you're like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm looking at them and I'm a little confused on what to do. Okay. If that ever happens, I love to use the intercepts method. Okay. Intercepts, intercepts, intercepts. So let's go ahead and do that. Can I slide my dock over? Yes, I can. Okay, now when we use the intercepts method, I like to graph or I like to write each question twice. So let's write this first one, negative three plus three y equals negative nine x. And we're gonna write that again. Negative three plus three y equals nine x. Okay, now we're gonna write the second one down here twice, negative one, plus 3x equals negative y. Negative 1 plus 3x equals negative y. And I told you, if you ever look at the problem and you get spooked, okay, we're using the intercepts method. And the intercepts method is this. It says, hey, for this guy, we're going to cross out y. And for this guy, we're going to cross out x. For this guy, we're going to cross out y. And for this guy, we're going to cross out X. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this puppy off. So we are going to divide negative nine, negative nine. And it looks like we get X equals one third or point three three over here we have to move this guy over we need to say plus three plus three 
and we get 3y equals 3, and it looks like we get y equals 1. So we have y equals 1. Oh, that's up here. y equals 1 is up here. And x equals 1 third, or x equals 0.33. I think that would be like right here. So it looks like we've got a line that's looking like that, okay, for the most part. It's not the cleanest, not the neatest, okay, but that's what we have going on. Okay, next, let's come down here and see what's going on. So let's shoot this guy over here, plus 1, plus 1. 3x equals 1 divided by 3 divided by 3. x equals 1 third. Oh, shoot, doesn't that look familiar? x equals 1 third. Okay, and this guy we have to divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, y equals 1. Oh man, that looks familiar, doesn't it? x equals 1 third, right there, y equals 1, right there, and it looks like we have the same line. Okay, and if we have the same line, we come over here, and that's infinite number of solutions. So for this one, our answer would be A. Okay, and I need to pause this video for one sec, so hold up. Okay, forgive me for that little pause. Just had to do it. I had to take care of something real quick. Um, but that's what we have going on. So what I want to do here is let's have you come down to number three. I might even use the same graph, because, like, why not, you know? And you can always rewind if you didn't take the notes or you need to take the notes or whatever. Like the great thing about a video is you can rewind, you can pause, you can go at your own pace. It's just a, it's a great thing. That's why I like doing this as opposed to teaching live because if you miss the lesson, you're screwed, right? But here, if you miss the lesson, you have something to reference. You have me here um, teaching you. Okay, so number three, I'm going to have you kids kind of attack number three on your own and see what you get. Okay, um, and then press pause or press pause now and then we'll come back and we'll go over it together, okay? Okay, so we're using the intercepts, which means, hey, for this guy, let's cross out our y. Goodbye. So we'll do the same thing for this guy down here. And then for this guy up here, we will cross out our x. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and attack. Obviously, we need this guy over here, so we're going to add 2, add 2, and it looks like we have 2 equals x, or x equals 2, okay? Well, what does it say down here? x equals 2, right? It already says it, okay? Now, up here, let's see what's going on. We are going to shoot this guy over by adding 2, adding 2, and it says 2 equals negative y. Well, we need to divide negative 1, divide negative 1, and get y equals negative 2. Okay, what we need to get this guy over here by subtracting 2, subtracting 2, and y equals negative 2. So let's graph these. This first guy, I have x equals 2, and I have y equals negative 2. Okay, for the second guy, I'll do them in green. I've got x equals 2, and I've got y equals negative 2. Well, it looks to me like that's the exact same line, right, which we just did, and we know that that means infinite number of solutions. Okay, remember, what we want to do, if we get something like, well, shoot, what do we want to do? Let's do seven on our own, because remember, if we get 
lines that are parallel, it's no solution. Okay, and I don't know that number seven has that going on, but I'm hoping it does. Okay, because I'm hoping we can at least practice that for one um, problem. So let's go ahead and attack number seven as a class. Take your time, press pause, attack seven. When you're done, press play and we can kind of go over that one together, okay? Boom, I did something a little crazy right there. I paused the video, wrote all this stuff out, save you a little bit of time. Got to keep you kids guessing so you don't know what's coming. Okay, so let's cross out our Y here. Okay, and then we'll cross out our X on this one. We do the same thing down here. Cross out our Y down here. Cross out our X over here. Let's see what happens. Let's just for the heck of it, see what happens. Okay, divide negative two, divide negative two, boom. And it looks like I get X equals th negative three over two. I think that's negative 1.5. Okay, and over here, I'm gonna shoot this guy over and subtract three, subtract three, y equals negative three. Okay, so let's graph this just for the heck of it. We've got x equals negative one and a half right there, and I've got y equals negative three right there. And it ain't gonna be the straightest line, and I can promise you that, but I'm gonna try. All right, okay, so moving on, let's come down here to the bottom. Subtract three, subtract three, and I have negative three equals six X. Divide six, divide six, X equals negative one half. Um, over here, let's divide negative three, divide negative three, Y equals negative one. Okay, so we have X equals negative a half. Well, that's right here. And we have Y equals negative one, which is right here, I think, if I'm doing this one right. What's going on with these lines? Are they ever gonna meet? I don't think so, they're not gonna meet. Okay, so they're parallel, they're never gonna intersect. So what does that say? That says we've got no solution, okay. Perfect. Um, good stuff today. Attack this next little assignment. Take your time. Be ready to ask questions on Thursday or Friday before we have our quiz on this. And that's it. I'm proud of you kids. Thanks for sticking around with me, spending some time with me.